We're good. talking about porn. Good. Let's talk yeah, about I know porn. you watch porn. I know yes. you get on rabbit holes of porn. Yes. Ross obviously watches porn. Yeah. Um, were you always okay with him like, watching him porn? Watching porn? Mm-hmm. Is there ever a time to you that you think that he shouldn't like be watching porn? I dated someone that was uh, addicted. Okay. So I know the difference. Um, I always thought it was fine. Like I always thought every guy just like watches porn too. You can't be having sex with them every second of the day and they mm-hmm. need uh, just from what I know uh, guys need to come release mm-hmm. more than girls sure. throughout the day throughout the week throughout the whatever life right um girls are more mental and can mm-hmm. n- go for long periods of time yeah sustain without it without it yeah. without an actual release or we our release is not a like do you know what i mean it's not yeah. it's not the same right no so i was always just like yeah they're they're always gonna be watching porn at some point i'm gonna be at work or i'm not gonna be there sure. or like whatever and they and they've had their porn people and their porn clips and their porn things since they're 16 probably mm-hmm. right 17 18 yeah, whatever watching it for a while. they've been watching it for a while yeah. they know their go-to's it's not like they're sitting they were there. young and scared of girls so what did they do watch porn right or they got playboys and i know like my husband for example he has like his go-to his go-to scene i'm sure the thing that just works right sure. um so i dated someone though that would like the last time before we broke up um he would stay up really late Mm -hmm. um and you know we were younger so he was like partying whatever and he left the bed to he left the bed i went out to the living room to to see what he was doing and he was watching porn masturbating so that i think is the difference right me too and i think you know the difference between someone that is addicted to it and someone that just like i don't think it's a bad thing for your husband to be watching porn like Mm -hmm. i think it's I think it's worse to tell him not to, right? Sure. And that's with anything. If you tell someone not to, <laughs> they're they really going want to, to want to. I will say my mindset changed on porn because obviously when I was younger, I thought it was like of the devil, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was terrible. And there's a lot of people that still think that. And, and you know, yeah, I just thought that like if a man really loved a woman, like he would just be with her. And now I realize it's healthy. Right? It's healthy if and you it's do different. it in a healthy way, and it's different. Um, if you become, if you have your wife there with you, and you are subjecting yourself to watching porn instead of being intimate with her, mm-hmm. there's issues, and she has every right to be fucking mad at you. Right? right? That's completely wrong. Yeah. Um, is there a time where it gets too much? I think so. I think that guys, just, this is where we go down the addiction route. If they're doing it while you're there, and if they're doing it too much, where it's now becoming an issue, or they're like calling you other women's names that they watch in porn, or if they watch it. Or, like, they're literally watching it nonstop all day long. Um, yes, there's an issue. There's a healthy balance, I think, with anything and any of this stuff. And so I think that's something that you have to communicate. And one thing I would suggest, too, if you're not comfortable with porn and you want to figure out, like, what your husband wants or you want to feel more included on it, I would suggest g- having your husband sit down you guys both sitting down and watching it together on the TV or on the computer screen and both, like, being intimate with it while watching it because he might be turned on and doing stuff. You might be turned on seeing it or maybe you have something that you like and you can have him watch it. So we can become more comfortable with it. If you're yeah. Not. Cause some, I know some women aren't open to it and some are completely not okay with the yeah. husband's doing it. I completely understand that. I've been there myself. This is one of those things where, you know, yeah. Um, with time it goes on. You good? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I know you're getting stuff on your phone, huh? Yeah. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so, so I think that you know, I think that you know the difference. I so think that you deep to. down know. Like if again, I believe that it's normal, and most people, most people say it's healthy to be watching some porn. If you're completely against it, I'd rethink it a little bit. But at the same time, communicate that communication and just knowing that there is a line. Yeah, and it's going to be different for everyone. But I think a line of none is not a real great sure. place no, to I start. Agree. But yeah, go ahead. Um, some women are saying that they think that they're overthinking it. And here's the biggest thing that I can let you ladies know is that, first of all, your husband's with you because he loves you to death, right? And honestly, if he could have you all the time, he fucking would. Yeah. 
I think sometimes guys resort to porn is because they realize they don't want you as much. And I know sometimes them reaching out to you and feel that feeling of rejection is really hard on them because yeah. they really want to be intimate with you. It's not that your husband or your boyfriend wants to get his dick wet. That's not really most of the time. Guys feel intimate and guys feel loved by arousing their woman and pleasing them in the bedroom. Like yeah. that's just how they show that love. A lot yeah. of them. Right. So one thing you can do too, if you want him if you know he's going to watch porn, but you don't want him to watch other women, you're not okay with it, make your own porn together. Yeah. Like, Chris and I have videos yeah. that we've made together or, like, make your Ask own. Ask him what he's watching. Yeah. Ask make him your own little video for him yeah. or a few for him. Of course, like, make sure they're on lockdown so they don't, like, get out. But do stuff like that for him because there'll be a lot of times Chris will just watch our shit. Yeah. Right? Or like, I'll send pictures. If I'm not in the mood or something. Yeah. yeah. You know? And there'll be times, too. So I don't overthink it. He's with you. He loves you. It's just kind of part of the male anatomy at the same time though i would be a little bit concerned if he's doing it too much addicted to it doing it when you were there and also like became really obsessed with like porn stars and like looking them up and like wanting to visit them and see them or yes and i like saw that. this on the group too i don't mean to like talk too much about the group but they were like there's one girl that said something that i was like fuck yeah uh where she was like that's why i have i there's a difference to me between porn and cam girls where it's like cam girls it's there's something intimate about mm -hmm. it. You can um, interact yeah, you with them. Yeah, you can talk with them. You can talk with them. You form a relationship yes. with them. Yeah. Uh, you can follow them, like things like this. So I, I totally get that. Yeah. And and whoever wrote that, like, yeah. Yes. Like that's that's exactly the difference is like. They're just watching a fucking video yes. and beating yes. off to it. It could literally be anything. Yes. Right. Versus being in it kind of like starting this emotional intimate yes. relationship with a cam girl and talking to her and yes. she being like let me let me hear about you that's to me that's a no-go different yeah. yeah you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl i'm moving on yeah don't y'all better things to do yeah go buy some fucking shoes